Well, guys, it seems that the problems for Fannie Willis keep on coming. This woman is actually trying to lock up Donald Trump to prevent him from actually becoming the president again. Now, Fannie Willis is a special case of TDS. This is definitely one of the most extreme versions of TDS that we've actually seen. Now, Fannie Willis uh, came into office, I believe, in uh, 2020. She's up for re-election again uh, next month, if I'm not mistaken. But Fannie Willis, remember Fannie Willis, when she actually ran for the DA in Fulton County, she accused her predecessor of um, sleeping with hired help. In the meantime, Fannie Willis was doing the exact same thing and lied about her relationship with Nathan Wade on the stand. Now, we got some interesting news now, guys, because we know. That there was a um, a phone call between Fannie Willis and one of her employees because the employee was complaining about how the office was going to spend federal money. The employee knew it was wrong. What happened to this employee? Fannie Willis ended up firing her because one of the people there wanted to use the money on swag and stuff like that. And Fannie Willis, this is her office. She is supposed to be in charge. Jim Jordan has requested uh, documents because they want to hold Fannie Willis accountable. And apparently Fannie has not been complying. What is she hiding, guys? What is she hiding? Well, we got some uh, interesting news here because DOJ, they may be coming after Fannie Willis. Let's talk about it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching on Rumble, click the join button, get access to the same thing. We appreciate the support. So here we go. Check this out. Fannie Willis inconsistencies discovered by Department of Justice. Yes, the DOJ. Yeah. Maybe Fannie Willis was actually spending some stuff on some swag. You know, all that money um, from Fulton County, she actually gave to Nathan Wade. Nathan Wade was giving kit bats and spending money on Fannie Willis. Yeah. Anyway, let's read this, guys. The Department of Justice discovered alleged inconsistencies in Fulton County DA Fannie Willis's use of some federal grant money. According to a new report, Willis has risen to national prominence for leading the Georgia election interference investigation against former President Donald Trump. And we all uh, know about that. But right here, the Justice Department confirmed in a statement first reported by the Washington Free Beacon that some inconsistencies have been found in her use of these funds. Fannie Willis misusing funds? Shocker, right? Shocker, right? Yeah, she wasted a whole bunch of money on um, Nathan Wade as well. That was actually uh, county money right there. State money as well. Yeah. This is on the federal level now. Look here, it says, quote, during our review of the award to respond to this inquiry, we have noticed some inconsistencies in what Fulton County has reported to the federal uh, sub award reporting system. And we are working with them to update the reporting accordingly. A Justice Department spokesman or spokeswoman uh, told the conservative uh, publication. Uh, specific uh, details about what inconsistencies were found, what the uh, specific uh, grant was intended for, uh, what the funds may have been used used for remain unconfirmed. Newsweek reached out to Willis's office and the DOJ for comment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eve mentions here about um, uh, Jim Jordan uh, going after her. He is the chair of the House Judiciary Committee. And he wants to hold Fannie Willis accountable. Yeah. Uh, she could be in um, some some trouble here, guys, because he did subpoena Fannie Willis. And apparently uh, she has not complied. He's threatened to uh, hold her in contempt. We will actually have to see what happens. But over here, guys, look at this here. Fannie Willis's employees may be turning on her. Yes. The employees in her office are probably ready to 
spill the beans on what happened with the money. Yeah. Right here, Fulton County DA Fannie Willis's employees may be turning on her as she faces questions about how her office has used federal grants. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Representative uh, Jim Jordan, the Ohio Republican, who chairs the House Judiciary Committee that has investigated these uh, grant funds, confirmed on Thursday that investigators have spoken to a whistleblower who previously worked in Willis's office. I'm wondering if that is the uh, young lady that uh, Fannie Willis actually ended up firing. Probably so. Harrison Floyd, who led uh, Black Voices for Trump in 2020, responded to reports of a whistleblower in a post to X. He suggested that some of uh, Willis's current employees may also be turning on her, but did not offer specific details. Uh, quote, there are current employees talking to, he wrote. Hearings are going to be fire. This is going to get real interesting, guys, because we're talking about active employees in Fulton County. Yeah, this is definitely not good news, man. Can you guys actually imagine um, Fannie Willis having to um, testify before Congress? Now, we have definitely seen Republicans be weak. OK, I mean, Hunter Biden, th this guy was um, ignoring Congress and nothing happened to him. See, this is the problem with Republicans, man. They're so weak, man. They need to grow a spine. But if Fannie Willis ends up testifying before Congress and she lies, yeah, that could be really bad, guys. Really bad. I mean, Fulton County seems to be uh, very, very corrupt. They are corrupt politicians in Fulton County, man. And Fannie Willis seems to be extremely corrupt. Misusing federal funds. Misuse, misusing our taxpayer funds in um, Fulton County as well. Yeah. Um, she stinks of corruption. Flat out, she just stinks of corruption, guys. Man, this is going to get interesting, guys. We're definitely going to be keeping a close eye on this right here. I mean, messing with the federal government, man. Um, the whistleblower on that phone call, man. She said, yeah. That. People in the office, you know, they want swag. They want, um, I guess, some bling bling uh, laptops. They want to go out to eat, vacations, that kind of thing. And then a few weeks later, Fannie Willis, is, Fannie Willis actually fires this young lady. Yeah, this really, really does stink. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.